Good morning and welcome back to PA Street Scene. For those of you that are new here, my name is Derek. Make sure to hit that notification bell and subscribe button so that you can keep up with my latest content. Um, typically I post automotive videos relating to local shows and events or my R32. Um, but today is going to be a little bit different. We are actually in Bordentown, New Jersey today at a location called Liberty Lake, which is a summer camp for kids. Um, but right now it has been transformed into the New Jersey Renaissance Fair. Um, for those of you that are asking, well, why is an automotive blogger at the New Jersey Renaissance Fair, especially when he lives in Pennsylvania? Reason being, um, in my personal life, when I'm not doing automotive related things, um, I surround myself with friends who are performers, um, whether that be theatrical or comedy or um, you, there's all kinds of people that I surround myself that do all different types of performance. I really like being around creative people. Uh, I'm a graphic artist by trade during my day job, um, so I'm, I'm constantly looking for people like that to be a part of my life because I enjoy being inspired by others. Um, with that said, I actually married into um, the theater um, my husband is an actor and is actually on the cast here at New Jersey Renaissance Fair. Um, so every year I get to come down and watch all of them perform and catch up with friends that I haven't seen in quite some time. Um, for those of you that have never been to a Renaissance Fair, I definitely recommend trying it. Um, I know sometimes a Renaissance Fairs can come with a stereotype or you know misinformation that it's like a total nerds fest. And it really isn't. If you go into a Renaissance Fair with an open mind and really allow yourself to immerse yourself in the experience and really truly enjoy it for what it is, they are quite magical. Um, you'll find that especially here with the New Jersey Renaissance Fair. Um, we have one in Pennsylvania as well, um, and I, I adore that one as well. But the thing that I noticed between the two that's very different is Pennsylvania's Renaissance Fair because it's been it's been established for a lot longer. It's become much more commercialized, at least that's how I feel. So it almost feels more like you're going to an actual theme park. Whereas New Jersey, um, because it is a bit newer, still has kind of the, the vibe of actually going to a fair. Um, it's centered around a large lake here um, on the grounds of a kid's summer camp and it's a beautiful location for it. So I'm excited to see what this year is all about. I really haven't had a chance to come down yet this year and it is the last weekend. So I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys with. Um, I do not have the R32 with me today. It is going to be raining later today and that's gonna go into the rest of the weekend. So I really didn't want to bring it down here to get it all mudded up and you know covered in stuff. And also, uh, Reed and I still have to work on winding the coilovers up to raise the car a bit because I am having some major issues with rubbing in the front, which is not only damaging the tires, but it's also causing issues with the Plasti Dip. So it just wasn't worth it to me to bring that car, especially because it runs on 93, so it was obviously cheaper to bring my Nissan Cube, which is my daily driver. But um, as per the usual, I'm rambling, so I'm going to stop, and we're going to head into the fair, and I'm going to film some stuff to kind of give you guys a vibe of what you can come to expect when you go to a renaissance fair especially if you get the chance to go to new jersey's and i hope you guys really enjoy it this is going to be a little different than what i normally do but i think it's going to be fun so let's get started Thank you. 